Where's the imp? Would you shut up? I hear they call him the imp. I hear he hates that nickname. The boy has lost the use of his legs. What of it? With the right horse and saddle, even a cripple can ride. I'm not a cripple. Then I'm not a dwarf. My father will rejoice to hear it. Look at me and tell me what you see. Is this a trick? What you see is a dwarf. If I had been born a peasant, they might have left me out in the woods to die. Alas, I was born a Lannister of Casterly Rock. Things are expected of me. My father is probably the most powerful man in the country, certainly the richest. He has all seven kingdoms in his pockets. Everyone, everywhere, always has to do exactly what my father says. He's always been a cunt. Your absence has already been noted. The boy means nothing to me. Oh, I can't stand the wailing of women. One word, and I hit you again. I'm telling mother. Sorry you are, that you are at their service and that all your prayers are with them. Do you understand? You can't. Do you understand? The prince will remember that, little lord. I hope so. If he forgets, be a good dog and remind him. Death is so final, whereas life, ah, uh, life is full of possibilities. He killed your father. He murdered the hand of the king. Oh, did I kill him too? I've been a very busy man. You will watch your I'm not your toady, and I'm not your friend. Though I would treasure your friendship, I'm mainly interested in your facility with murder. And if the day ever comes when you're tempted to sell me out, remember this. Whatever their price, I'll beat it. I like living. Stay low. Stay low. If you're lucky, no one will notice you. I was born lucky. Oh, I just want to stand on top of the wall and piss off the edge of the world. <laughs> Children don't need to hear your filth. When I was seven, I saw a servant girl bathing in the river. I stole her robe. And she was forced to return to the castle, naked and in tears. If I closed my eyes, I could still see her tits bouncing. When I was ten, I stuffed my uncle's boots with goat shit. When confronted with my crime, I blamed a squire. Poor boy was flogged, and I escaped justice. When I was 12, I milked my eel into a pot of turtle stew. I flogged the one-eyed snake. I skinned my sausage. I made the bald man cry into the turtle stew, which I do believe my sister ate. At least I hope she did. What about you, my lord? What's the strangest thing you've eaten? Do Dornish girls count? <laughs> you once loved a woman many years ago, but it turned out badly, so you've never let yourself love again. Oh, wait, that's me. What sort of accent is that? Foreign. For what do you want from me? What do I want from you? I want you to share my tent. I want you to pour my wine, laugh at my jokes, rub my legs when they are sore after a day's ride. I want you to take no other man to bed for as long as we're together. 
And I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world. Perhaps we should sue for peace. There's your peace. Joffrey saw to that when he decided to remove Ned Stark's head. Have you ever heard the phrase, rich as a Lannister? Of course you have. You're a smart man. You know who the Lannisters are. I am a Lannister. Tyrion, son of Tywin. And of course, you have also heard the phrase, a Lannister always pays his debts. If you deliver a message from me to Lady Arryn, I will be in your debt. Can I make the little man fly now? Not this little man. This little man is going home. I believe you have something of mine. Lannister always pays his debts. <laughs> 